Unraveling, I'm down, understanding casual English. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English expressions. Today, we're exploring a popular and casual phrase in English, I'm down. This might sound straightforward, but it has a unique meaning in everyday conversation. Whether you're a beginner or advancing in English, understanding phrases like this is key to sounding natural in your conversations. So, let's get started. First, let's break down the phrase. Literally, down, refers to a direction, the opposite of up. But in the phrase, I'm down, it takes on a figurative meaning. Here, it doesn't relate to direction at all. This is a common aspect of English. Words often have both literal and figurative meanings, and the context helps us understand which one is being used. Now, onto the exciting part. What does I'm down actually mean? In casual English, when someone says, I'm down, they are expressing enthusiasm or agreement. It's a way of saying, yes, I'm interested, or, sure, I'd love to. This phrase is particularly popular among younger speakers and is often used when making plans or proposals. Understanding is best with examples, so let's look at a few. 1. Making plans. Do you want to go to the movies tonight? Yeah, I'm down. 2. Agreeing to ideas. We should start a study group. I'm down with that. 3. Expressing enthusiasm. How about trying that new Italian restaurant? I'm totally down. In each case, I'm down shows a positive response and readiness to participate. English is rich in expressions, and I'm down has its variants. You might hear, I'm down for that. I'm totally down. Count me in. These all convey similar sentiments. Additionally, similar phrases like, I'm up for it, or I'm game, share a close meaning, illustrating the diversity in expressing agreement or enthusiasm. And that's a wrap on, I'm down. We hope this video has shed light on this common yet intriguing phrase in English. Remember, Understanding such casual expressions can significantly enhance your conversational skills. Stay curious, keep learning, and we hope you're now a bit more down with English slang. Until next time, happy learning!